Welcome to this week's Simon. I'm Irene. And I'm Jacques of the Scientific Affairs team here at Illumina. Did you see that there's a new theory about early human migration into North America? It is thought that the Americas were populated by a migration through an ice-free corridor between ice sheets about 15,000 years ago. Yes, the new paper by Peterson shows that early humans arrived in North America about a thousand years before the ice-free corridor opened. Geologically, that is a very short period, and it is difficult to determine exactly when and where a glacier receded. That is what makes this paper really interesting. They sequenced environmental DNA from core sediment samples of Charlie and Spring Lakes. Those are remnants of 15,000 square kilometer Glacier Peace Lake, which was the last Great Barrier in the passage. They were able to reconstruct the plant and animal populations with surprising detail. Plants repopulate receding glacial areas very quickly, so that is a great approach. Environmental DNAs are molecular fossils or local organisms, but how can you be sure they were not just looking at modern plants and animals? They obviously took precautions not to contaminate the samples, but ancient DNA is degraded in a very characteristic pattern, so you can easily determine if DNA sequences came from ancient or modern DNA. What did they find? Prior to about 13,000 years ago, there was no vegetation. Both pollen and eDNA indicate grasses and sedges were early colonizers, and that was about 12,000 years ago, along with members of the sagebrush, sunflower, buttercup, rose, and birch families. Did they find evidence of animals? Now, yes, that's a good question. Around the same time, there was evidence for bison, voles, jackrabbits, elk, eagles, and moose. By 11,000 years ago, they found evidence of pike. That is a top aquatic predator, which indicates that the fish community was well established, along with pine and spruce trees from a very typical arboreal forest. That level of detail is incredible. It sounds like the survey of a modern forest. This technique could add immense value to other studies as well. But what does that tell us about the migration? Human migrations are never as simple as the history books would lead you to believe. That heroic first family group discovering the open passage to the new world under harsh conditions that would be difficult for us to imagine. But enough for today. We would love to hear your thoughts about our show and topics you would like us to discuss. To subscribe to our Simon channel, watch more episodes, or get more information, click on the boxes on your screen. Until next time, bye. Bye.